Hey guys, what's going on? It's Raina with Plants and Hip Hop. And today I'm going to let you know some pretty good plant deals that I have gotten throughout my whole plant collection. Yeah, if you follow me on Instagram at Plants and Hip Hop, I always put on my stories any plant deals that I got that really caught me off guard and surprised me because it's like, it's almost like if they're selling the plant for free. But yeah, this is a video just to show you guys that these plants can be cheaper if you really do look for them in big box stores or your local nurseries so yeah let me know if there's a plant on here that you got a better deal for or if you got ripped off so yeah guys i'm gonna start with this monstera deliciosa that i got from safeway safeway is a grocery store up here in the north bay area it's kind of like a publix or a bonds and yeah, I got this one for $9.99, which is pretty amazing. I had to get her, even though I already have one over there. I'll show you guys that one later. But yeah, this was by far the best plant deal I've gotten. It's funny because on Instagram, someone commented saying that they these grow wild in their country. And I think they were in Brazil. And also another person told me from Costa Rica that these grow naturally in their backyard. I thought that was pretty great. They get them for free. Living in dry California, these don't grow outside as much or at all. Okay, next I have these philodendron birkin. So I believe last year or the past couple years, these have been really expensive and you can still find them really expensive in stores. The place where I got this from had one in a six inch container and it was around 80 something dollars, but Luckily, I found these in a two inch container and they were $12.99. These grow pretty fast, so look, it has a new leaf. I just noticed that. But yeah, these grow pretty fast, so this will be in a six inch container one day. So yeah, buy plants small so you can grow with them, watch them progress. You grow with your plants. By the way, there's someone that I follow on YouTube. I found a philodendron Birkin for 10 bucks at a Home Depot. I believe she lives in Southern California. But yeah, keep your eyes open on these. Don't buy expensive plants, please. That plant that's trending on Instagram will be at Home Depot for $10 one day. Buy these other common plants first and learn how to take care of those before you buy that expensive plant that one day will be $10 at a Home Depot. Another one that I got was my string of turtles. I got this one two years ago in Miami, Florida, and it was in a two inch container and I got it for, I believe, $175. I saw this website that sells them for like $60 to $90. Also, another website was selling each strand for like $10 two inch container for 175 and i have propagated this one a lot so yeah buy your plants small grow with them propagate them share them the next ones that i found was the begonia maculata or polka dot begonia i got these for 5.99 believe it or not these go for like 30 to 40 dollars in other places grow with them propagate them share them look how beautiful they are the next two that I got. Have you noticed that I get them by twos? And every time I see a really good plant deal, I get them by twos. Anyways, I got this Alocasia Stingray for $15 at Trader Joe's. Check out your Trader Joe's because they've been having some really amazing plants. Um, there's a Instagram page that is strictly about Trader Joe's plants. I don't remember her name on Instagram, but I'll put it on the description so you can follow her. Okay, so here's a Monstera I was telling you about. This Monstera, I got it for $12.99 because she was damaged. It was originally $25. But yes, I got this one for $12.99. And yeah, it doesn't compare to that other Monstera Deliciosa that I got for $9.99. But it's still equally as beautiful. And we're gonna grow together. We're gonna grow together till you get split leaves, girl. By the way, I'm gonna put an input here that I never buy any plants online strictly because I want to look at them. I want to see that they don't have any type of root rot, that they're healthy, that they're, they're pest free. I want to see that plant physically. Plus, wherever it's being grown at, it's accustomed to that environment and just the shipping and all that can get damaged. I have bought two plants online actually and they didn't do so well. I love going to nurseries and finding these plants myself. I get so excited when I see them, especially if there's just one just like that Mikeins I have over there. Okay, so here I have the Maranta Red that I got 
for $8.98 at a, at a Freedman's, which is like a Home Depot. This is a six inch container. This is two of the four that I got from Walmart. Well, this one was $3.94. And then this um, skin depth, this pick this was $2.94 from Walmart. So yeah, these are awesome to buy small because they grow so fast. You might as well just grow with them. And it's a good plant deal, guys. And here are the two other ones. This one was also $3.94 and as well as this one. This one was in a three inch container as well. Yeah, this is a three inch container. Yeah, this one was in that three inch container, but she was just so squished in there that I had to transfer her in a six incher and bam, look at her. And then this golden pothos as well, they grow fast. So might as well just buy it small, watch it grow. These can go up to like $50 in a hanging basket. Propagate it, share it. All right, the next one, I took it off its pot, but it's the fiddly fig that I got from Walmart for $18.98. It's in a big, I believe 10 inch container. I got this one probably six months ago when the whole shutdown happened. And I can say that this is a pretty good deal because these can go up to $300 depending on their size. $18, that's amazing. I actually have seen these for like 10 to $12 in a smaller pot. Plus also you have to check the stems. These have four stems in them. The one that I was talking to you about that was $300 that I seen had only one trunk, one stem. So four stems right here for $18 is a pretty good plant deal. All right guys, so the, another one that I've seen that are pretty good deals, Air Plants, the Zero Graphica. The reason why I say this is because I've seen these go up to $39. I got this one for $19.99 and I got this one for $7.95. I hope it's not rotting in there. $7.95, $19.99. I think they were pretty good plant deals. All right guys, so that goes for my plant deals, but I do wanna show you around to let you know like the prices that I got my plants for. That way you can kind of figure out this is around the price range that it should be at. Philodendron micas that I was telling you about. This one I actually only seen it one time in my life. And this one was actually pretty pricey. I believe this has been the most expensive plant I've ever bought, which was $49.99. And it's in this big, 10 inch container it's full it's trailing i had to get her and she's healthy she's strong and i can propagate her i can share her it's pretty great so i got this damage birds of paradise for for 34.99 and it has three stems so i feel like it was a pretty good deal right here and then this mini begonia i got it for 12 bucks which is pretty great. It's just one stem, but I actually do want it to be trailing up really tall. So that's the reason why I got this one. These can also come in baskets and they're trailing down, but I kind of like the idea, idea of it trailing up. And I kind of want to put it in a corner one day and make it trail up. I'm probably going to move this guy now that I think about it. And then that philodendron moonlight, I got it for $8.50. It's in a four inch container. And then it goes the same for this philodendron prince of orange. I got it for $8.99. It's looking good. Yeah, guys, I forgot to mention this ficus altissima. It's one stem, but I got it for $12 at Home Depot. What do you guys think? All right, guys, that concludes my best plant deals. If you think you got a better deal than me, comment on there and let me know what you got what price you got it for and where you got it at yeah make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on instagram at plants and hip hop underscore that way you can know when i get a new plant because every time i go to a garden center to a nursery i always post the plants that are there and show you the good deals show you the plant hauls there first anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you soon peace